They have the mature woman. And then thoughts. Unexpected income. And then concern. So this could be you. This could be someone that you're attached to. Someone that you have detached from. This could be someone who wants to come towards you. Different people that they're attached to. Different people that they have detached from. This is masculine and feminine energy, past, present, or near future. So you have to take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Somebody here could be gaining some type of unexpected income. This was unexpected to someone. This could have been unexpected to you or someone else. But somebody is concerned about this. It's like this person is in their thoughts. Courthouse. We have adjudication. Wow. And then it's like waiting. Like something was waiting or being held off in despair. So this could have been somebody that did something to cause some type of um, court situation to happen or something like that. And they didn't know whoever it is that they, you know, tried to cause some type of strife towards or have somebody like, Waiting for something because expectation is here. Then you have privileged lady. So somebody could have wanted this privileged lady like to be at a stalemate. This person, this privileged lady could have been going through some type of court situation or something like that with the courthouse and adjudication being here. And this mature woman is in their thoughts and their concern because whoever this privileged lady is. They've received some type of unexpected income or they're getting some type of unexpected income. And this could have been something this privileged lady wasn't even expecting. You know, this is someone that's very abundant. They work hard for whatever it is that they have. And they have stability on their own. Somebody's in despair because they could have did something to, you know, try to make somebody look bad and it didn't work. Yeah, this was a false person. And this could have been somebody mother, somebody grandmother, somebody auntie, someone's godmother. This could be someone that's older. And this person is somebody there in despair because they didn't think before they did whatever they did. They could have been paid to do something and now they're concerned. Yeah, they're concerned about being, you know, in prison. Like this could be jail, like going to jail. So it's like if somebody wanted you to feel stuck, if somebody wanted you to be wrapped up in some type of court situation and just waiting and waiting and waiting, and this was something that was false with this false person being here, like false statements and things like that to have you in this energy of just feeling stagnant, stuck. They're in that energy. Your pathway is clear. You have pathway here and then you have journey. So it's like you're going towards a whole other direction and somebody feel trapped, they feel stuck. Like this person is concerned because you're gaining some type of unexpected income. And it has them in despair for whatever they did. And it's like a false person could have went to jail, got wrapped up in some type of situation, and they were helping this person... Um, do something to cause deception to you because that person ended up getting trapped or stuck. And it could have been for, for whatever they did to you. Yeah, Eight of Swords. It's like somebody got their self caught up in some type of situation and they wanted you to feel stuck. So they had whoever this mature woman is, they could have paid that person to do something and they did it. Now they're concerned and they're in despair. It's like they're under judgment with whoever this person is that got their self caught up in this Eight of Swords energy. Whoever the person is that went to jail, they were a false person. 
And it's like they had someone that they knew that was older, like a you know mother figure, a father. Uh, I'm going to say father figure, a mother figure, father figure. This could have been an auntie, someone that, that you know that raised them, or something like that. They could have paid that person to give some type of false information to try to have you you know look bad or have you wrapped up in some type of false case, because this person got their self trapped. And it's like they helped that person. They knew that person got their self caught up in something. But they still took the money and did whatever that person said. Now they're concerned about going through judgment. Yeah. The star. Yeah, this is someone that knew that you were someone that was destined for success. You were someone that was, um, you would be in the spotlight. So they wanted to make you look bad because they ended up trapping their self. Yeah, now they're in regret. Five of Cups is here. It's like whatever they were trying to do, it didn't work. Yeah, the hair font. It's like this is somebody that definitely do not believe in God. These are people that don't believe in God. This is why they're in this Eight of Swords energy. This is why they're under judgment. And it's like now you're in this hair fine energy. It's like whoever these people are, they did not know whatever they did to you would just keep them under judgment. That's why you have to be my, never judge a book by its cover. This is what I'm getting. Somebody judged a book by its cover and they just thought it was sweet. Somebody was doing stuff, stuff maliciously, intentionally, and they got their self trapped. You weren't even paying attention to this person. But this person was somebody that was paying attention to you. Yeah, this is sad. The Wheel of Fortune, Five of Wands, and the Fool. So somebody was definitely envious and jealous because somebody was coming towards you. Whoever this person is that was coming towards you, they were going towards a whole other direction and somebody was trying to hold that person back. It's like they were freeing their self from some type of situation and this person was trying to send conflict to them. But it's like they, wherever this person was, if this person was coming towards you, they felt like you were competition. This was jealousy. They wanted to send negativity around you, conflict to you, drama towards you. And then the Wheel of Fortune is here. This is someone who definitely knew about your destiny. Your destiny. They knew that you were someone that would be in the spotlight. You would be helping people get woke. You would be helping people heal. And they knew that you were spiritually woke. So somebody wanted you to wait, like wait before you start walking in your destiny, walking in your purpose, in your car. This was a tactic to slow you down from your um, journey, your destiny, whatever it is that you're called to do for swords. This person thought you would be in the energy of, uh, you know, feeling isolated, feeling alone. You would be heartbroken or something like that. It didn't work. It's like you needed some time to rest. You needed some time to heal. If you were in this four source energy. And you could have been recovering from something totally different. Or you were just recovering from something after, you know, getting woke and things like that. You could have put a situation to rest with the four source being here. And this is somebody that was jealous of you. And I keep getting this like you didn't know that person, but this person was watching you. Because they knew of someone that wanted to come towards you. And with the wheel being here, they knew that something was fated to happen. Like you were fated to meet up with that person or that person come towards you. And they could have laid something to rest with that person. Ace of Wands, yeah, it's like they were starting over. And somebody, grandma or mama, uh, helped somebody with do something fraudulent and now they're concerned. Yeah, Seven of Cups, Two of Wands, and then Knight of Swords. This was definitely a tactic to try to, it's like somebody did something too quick. 
way too quick. And they didn't even think before they did it. They were trying to hold, help somebody that got their self caught up in some type of situation and they could have literally went to jail. They were trying to help that person hold somebody off and cause some type of confusion. And they tried to use you. And you don't even have anything to do with these people. You didn't even know this person was coming towards you. But these are, yeah, this was deception. Seven of Swords. It's like these are people that did this in a sneaky, deceptive way and they thought they weren't going to get caught. But they're under judgment. It's like somebody is in a bind. Yeah. The devil. These are people that owe debts to the devil. It's like they're stuck. They're trapped. And all I keep getting is somebody know that they got their self caught up in something. It's like they're looking in the mirror and they see that they're trapped. They did it to their self. And it's like now they owe this energy. Because whatever they were doing in the Seven of Swords energy, this was toxic. The wheel and then death. This was something that ended out. It's like that person, a cycle was completed. Something came to an end and... um that person realized they were stuck. So if they were trying to keep that person attached to them with this devil energy, they were no longer attached to that person. So they were like stuck by their self because this person had ended some type of cycle out. Whoever it is that wanted to come towards you. And they knew this. So it's like they got behind the scenes and they had somebody else do something for them um to 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 get to you <laughs> yeah tower somebody is definitely sitting back dealing with an overflow of bad choices because it's like they got wrapped up with this person so it's like whatever debts that this person owe whoever this mature woman is they owe those debts too and they're concerned Knight of Cups. Nine of Swords. And all they're doing is sitting back stressing out. They can't sleep. They're just thinking about that person coming towards you. And this Knight of Cups energy. It's like somebody did something to their self and they didn't realize this. Or it's like they knew that they did it to their self, but they didn't want to believe it. They didn't want other people to know. So they were trying to do whatever they could in this five of wands energy. And now they're in this nine of swords, going straight to the ten of swords. Harsh, painful endings. Queen of Pentacles and five of Pentacles. Wow. Yeah, whoever this person is, they could have lost a lot. And then Eight of Wands. They definitely lost a lot. And this was supposed to happen. Because this person was somebody that they didn't want to let go of something. Or they didn't want a person to move forward and move towards another direction. And it's like they sabotaged their self. This was wasted time. But it's like, people do things over and over and over again, and they get the same results. And it's like, once you keep doing the same thing over and over again, and you're not learning the lesson, you're going to have to learn a harsh, painful lesson, and this is what this is. Not only is this person stuck in the Eight of Swords, but they're in the Five of Pentacles. And they're sitting back watching you concerned about your unexpected income. Like, make it make sense. Whatever you spend your time watching, whatever you spent, put your energy in the most, you're going to see that manifest. So if they put a lot of energy and try to send negativity to you, they're just watching you manifest. They're just constantly watching you ace of pentacles, God gifting you with abundance. And this is the lesson that they have to learn and they don't get that. You have the chariot and page of wands. It's like you move forward. 
You could be someone that's very inspirational to a lot of people. And they thought you would be in this expectation energy, just waiting for something. You would be waiting to walk in your calling or your purpose. These are people that could have tried to throw, um, you know, spirit, spiritual attacks towards you. They wanted you to be seen as somebody that was confused. And it didn't work. Yeah, four of cups, three of cups. It's like somebody's in this four of cups energy while you're in this three of cups energy. Happy, celebrating. And it's like this person could have been celebrating at the three of cups when they did this. Now they went straight to the four of cups. They're unhappy. They feel rejected. I'm so done. Four of pentacles. Yeah, because a lot of people could be holding back from this person. This person could be trying to hold on to everything that they have, and they don't have nothing. Wow. It's like this person was trying to control something that they did not have control over. And this is somebody who definitely did not have control over you. This person don't even have control over their self. This is sad. <laughs> they have the six of pentacles. And then Ace of Swords. So somebody started holding back with this, whatever this Four of Pentacles energy is. As I said, people could have started holding back from that person. But somebody started holding back from that person when they found out the truth. Ace of Swords. It could have been given to that person, sharing with that person, being generous to that person. Six of Pentacles. Until they found out the truth. About whatever this person did. Yeah, this is somebody that was jealous. This person was in competition with you, Five of Swords, and you didn't know. They were trying to hide it from whoever this person is and whoever this mature woman is, or they could have knew. Two of Wands. Yeah, it's like this person planned some type of vicious attack. Yeah, they planned this out. And they paid somebody to, you know, make some type of false statements or fraudulent um, statements on you. They're trying to have you at a stalemate. Yeah, from partnering up with whoever this person is that wanted to come towards you, two of cups is here. This person was trying to win at all costs because somebody was holding back after they found out the truth about this person. That ain't got nothing to do with you. It's like this person got their self caught up and they wanted to take it out on you because they knew the person was coming towards you. How they knew the person was coming towards you, they could have been getting like readings or something like that. Or they just knew about you and this person's destiny or purpose. King of Swords. Yeah, it's like they ended up cutting that person off. It's like they don't have any emotions for that person. They gain clarity and they gain truth. About that person. This is sad. And just low vibrational. This is why this person is in this five of pentacles energy. Four of pentacles is here. Yeah, that's like they were trying to hold on to somebody after they cut them off and distance themselves from them. While they were in the energy of holding back. You have the lovers. Yeah, this person felt like whatever they were doing behind the scenes in a sneaky, deceptive way, you know, they got away with it. They wouldn't get caught. And this person would hold back from a spiritual connection. The lovers is here. But it's like, if this person was in this energy of four of pentacles, holding back, feeling insecure, they were watching you move forward. That person was watching you move forward. 
and they were only teaching this king of swords a lesson and that's it because this person possibly were, was not woke you know they didn't know the truth they needed to gain truth and clarity so this was destined to happen this was destined to take place seven of swords and then seven of pentacles yeah it's like somebody was somebody was doing a lot of stuff behind the scenes for a long time to whoever this king of swords is this is why they were holding back from that person it had nothing to do with you yeah the sun card is here it's like this person knew that you were someone that was happy you're positive and um you know things like that some type of way something came out with this exposure being here the sun card being here and they were pissed it's like they were trying to take it out on you and that person this person could be fighting a situation yeah and they're in regret five of cups is here it's like they're ashamed they're embarrassed because they were blinded from the truth and it could have had them at a stalemate you know not knowing what to do not knowing which direction to take and they were watching you move forward. Whoever came in and exposed something with the sun card being here, they didn't believe that person. So it kept them in that stagnant energy right where this person that was in this eight of swords energy wanted you. Yeah, the hair fine is here. And then high priestess. Yeah, somebody was in regret, definitely. Because these are twins. So it's like they were in regret. This person could have found out you're their twin. And they were stuck in regret. Disappointed in their self. Because they were blinded from the truth. Yeah, they feel betrayed. Ten of swords. And it's like that person could have had to go through some type of harsh, painful ending. Because they, they, were, they didn't believe something. And this is why they were in regret. Yes, four of wands is here. And then the will of fortune. You got the will of fortune again. It's like this person had to go through a lot of ups and downs to realize what their purpose was, their destiny was. Because somebody did not want them to know this. Like, yeah, that person wanted to come towards you and partner up with you, but this person did not know who you were to them. So they were staying attached to whoever this person is, and this person ended up getting caught up in some type of situation. They could have been helping that person while they were in a situation, still blinded from the truth. But this person had other people helping them as well. And they were paying people. Whatever they were getting from this person, they were paying other people to send negativity and conflict towards you. Out of jealousy. Yeah. To a source. It's like they didn't want no one to know. This person was blinded from the truth. It's like somebody literally thought if they sent a lot of chaos or conflict to you, they would, um, this person would not want to come towards you or something like that. And it's like, you're not even paying attention to either one of these people. And this is all, that this is what's going on behind the scenes. Five of Wands. I'm so dumb. Wow. Four of Cups is here. Yeah, they definitely wanted this person to miss an opportunity. Like somebody did this to try to hold on to a person. They figured if they can sabotage you, they'll be able to hold on to that person. But that person ended up getting woke and they found out the truth and they left that person out in the cold. They don't want anything to do with that person. Now they're in regret because whatever, you know, somebody told them you could have spoke the truth to that person and they didn't believe it. They kept their self stagnant for a long time in the two of wands energy. While all of this was taking place behind the scenes and they were blinded to this. Now this person could feel like you're going to reject them. They're, they're in fear of rejection with this four of cups being here. And then page of pentacles. And then queen of wands. 
and then the hermit. And then Queen of Pentacles, yeah. So as I said, you weren't paying attention to any of this. Queen of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, it's like you embody all queens in the deck in the upright position. You're Empress. This is why you're so abundant. And um, it's like you were doing a lot while you were in hermit mode. Like if you don't be around people that much, you could have been soul searching. You could have been, you know, just focusing on your independence, especially if you ended something out with somebody and you were getting inner guidance. Listening to your intuition, working hard on yourself. Focus on providing for yourself and your, you know, family, if you're a parent, financially. So it's like this entire time, it's like this didn't do nothing but give you more courage. More determination to go after whatever it is that you want out of life. And that's it. It's like this boosts up your confidence. It has you more focused. Yeah. And it's like you definitely heal Queen of Cups on the bottom of the deck. While somebody was trying to play some type of confusion over you, Seven of Cups, they're heartbroken. Somebody is heartbroken because they're confused. It was only wishful thinking that they could do whatever they, you know, were trying to do to have you at a stalemate. It's like that person got their self caught up and they wanted you to feel caught up and stuff. Ten of Cups. And this person, this definitely was a whole bunch of like people that was working with this person. Ten of Cups. And then you have Eight of Wands. It's like this was like a whole bunch of, um, this could have been their family, different friends of theirs, people that are close to them. They were trying to win at all costs. And these are people you don't even know. Yeah, this was this was something that was like desperate. Now it's like all of these people are watching you in the Six of Wands energy. You're manifesting quickly. And it's like you're in this Ten of Cups energy. You're happy. It's like this was hidden from them. They were blinded and binded and did not know. I mean, one person already knew why they were caught up. But these other people, they didn't know they were with that person at the Eight of Swords. They were just keeping their self stuck. That's it. They were blinded to the fact that you would be in this energy um, having victory. Yeah, this was hidden. The moon. They were too busy trying to play some type of illusion or confusion. As I said, these are people that were trying to send like psychic attacks to you. They wanted you to be confused about your destiny, your purpose. And it did not work. I'm so done. <laughs> Page of Swords is here. This is sad. You just released the fact that people were sitting back. And now these people are watching you thirsty for knowledge. I'm so dumb. Yeah, Page of Wands. You're very inspirational. You inspire a lot of people. Yeah. And it's like you're in this Ten of Pentacles energy. As I kept saying, you know, this was destined to take place. It's like you're going to have long-term uh, success with whatever it is that you're doing. Like to inspire people, helping people. The way that you communicate with people, you know, you're going to be abundant. And this is like ultimate completion. This was destined to happen. You were supposed to complete some type of cycle and you ended that out. And you ended up starting something new. And it's like you, you're walking in your Ten of Pentacles. And these people are confused. It's like they're concerned. How is this person getting this unexpected income? They have placed all of these, you know, different blockages for you. Some spiritual attacks towards you, wanted you to be confused, did things physically to you that were false to try to make you look bad. 
but you're still having victory. Whatever you pay attention to or spend the most time paying attention to is what you're going to watch manifest. If these people would have focused on their self, they wouldn't have kept their self in this Eight of Swords energy. This is like self-entrapment. Ace of Pentacles. Somebody had them block their own blessings. You have the Ace of Pentacles and Two of Pentacles. Yeah, Seven of Wands. Something backfired. Because somebody was trying to create blockages for you. They felt like they were secretly taking a competition up out of here. They were going to send trials, tribulations, obstacles, tornadoes, and battles your way. But it's like they blocked their own blessings. Now they're in this two of pentacles energy. Five of pentacles energy. This is sad. Six of cups. And then eight of cups in the reverse. So somebody is coming towards you. It's like this person feel like they're going to come towards you with the Eight of Cups in the reverse. This person was like avoiding coming towards you or something like that. But this, this is like trying something one more chance. But this also is that somebody could have went back to somebody that they felt like they were going to try one more chance. They were in undecisive. And they could make a proper decision. They were avoiding change with the Eight of Cups in the reverse. And they could have took a loss. Something, whatever this person was trying to do to you, you know, secretly, it backfired onto them. Now they're in this King of Swords energy. Oh, so dumb. Yeah, and they lost a lot. Six of Swords. And then three of cups. And it's like now they're leaving it all behind. Yeah, and this person is stressed out. So it's like when they did whatever they did in the past, the this person that wanted to come towards you, they didn't know the truth. They were blinded. So they went back towards that person. And this person was thinking that whatever they were doing was working. They didn't know that they were teaching that person a lesson because they didn't want to believe something that somebody said. So they had to go through some type of ten of swords. And it's like once they gain truth and clarity, they start holding back from that person. So it's like whatever they were trying to place over you, it immediately backfired. If this is your two of cups or your twin, it went back to them because they were not woke. And this is why they were in regret for so long and ended up going back to that person. Yeah, and then you had the Three of Pentacles and Nine of Swords. Now it's like this person is stressed out because this person had moved on. They found out the truth. Now they want to come towards you and team up with you. Yeah, King of Cups. And then Nine of Wands. This person went back towards this person because they had some type of low self-esteem issues. They needed to learn how to set healthy boundaries. This person could have been dealing with some type of abandonment issues that they have not healed from when they were a child and they went back towards that person. You know, they were mirroring that same energy as they were blinded from the truth. So they learned this harsh, painful lesson. Yeah, this was a cycle that definitely needed to be completed out. The world is here. This is the only reason why this person held back from you, Nine of Wands. And you could have been in this energy where you were guarded. You set healthy boundaries. And this person knew they could not come towards you in whatever energy that they were in. Yeah, Ace of Wands. This person definitely knew they could not come back towards you. Now, after completing this cycle out, they want to start something new. The Fool card is here. And then Judgment is here. Justice is here. Wow. And then King of Pentacles. And then the Hangman. Yeah, somebody is definitely realizing that they were trying to keep them trapped for financial gain, for material gain. And that person is under judgment. Who, what, how, whoever was trying to keep this person stuck for financial gain, they lost a lot. 
So it's like somebody was trying to keep somebody trapped because they felt like that person would have a whole bunch of money. That person couldn't get to their 10 as they were in a five with that person and didn't know. This person needed to release something. Hey, man, is here. This is why they went back towards that person. They just didn't know that they were experiencing a ten of swords and not the ten of pentacles. The magician. And then nine of pentacles. King of Wands and Three of Cups. Wow. And it's like, oh, while this was taking place, this per this whoever this person is that either is your soulmate, your twin, whoever this person is close to, like a friend of theirs, this person has been focused on you, watching you, and trying to manifest you this entire time. This is <laughs> I'm so dumb. This is something serious. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles. Like they were trying to keep that person weighed down, burdened. They could be sitting back in guilt. So it's like they were trying to keep that person distracted as they were paying attention to you. It's like they see you in this Nine of Pentacles energy. They see you as someone that's self-sufficient, independent, abundant. You're saving yourself for commitment. And this person is attracted to you. Whoever this, whoever this uh, King of Cups friend is. And this person had been trying to manifest you and slow this person down. So it's like they had multiple people trying to slow them down. Wow. This is sad. Page of Cups. And then Knight of Cups. Yeah, they knew this person was someone that was emotionally immature. This person could have been in a childlike energy, not knowing how to express themselves to you. And they were, you know, letting different people control them. It's like they were trying to keep that person in this page of cups energy. Just, you know, if this person is someone that was crushing on you or they um, admired you from a distance, they planned on coming towards you in the Knight of Cups energy to connect with you. They keep that person in the energy of just, you know, having emotions for you and not knowing how to express it. Knight of Wands. This is somebody that thought they were going to come in quick. Knight of Wands. They will be in and out, have sex with you. Whoever this person is, they are karmic. That person could have been trying to, you know, play some type of sex magic over you while they were watching you. This is somebody that's toxic. And now they're realizing that. Tower. This person is realizing that they're in a toxic karmic cycle that needed to be closed out. <laughs> yeah, temperance is here. It's like this person needed to get themselves grounded and balanced out because these people thought they had control over this person or they, you know, had some type of control over this person where they couldn't stand up for themselves. This is sad. It was definitely emotional manipulation involved as well. You have girl with the snake. The dragonfly. And then palm tree. Yeah, somebody set healthy boundaries with whoever this person is because they realized they were used. This person is somebody that's a narcissist. They, this person charmed them. They used them. And then they, um, they were very narcissistic to that person. Now this person is finding out with the dragonfly. Everything came to light and they realized they needed to make a change and heal. Interested. So this person wants to talk to you. Talking is here. And then mirror. So yeah. This person is feel this person feels like 
if you were someone that was, you know, spiritually getting woke, you were healing yourself, cleansing yourself, you were in hermit mode, you weren't around nobody. It's like now that person is in the energy of mirroring you. They're not around anyone. They didn't know the energy that they were in would be mirrored back to them. It's like whatever energy you put out, it comes back to you. Yeah, somebody is realizing why they went back towards that person. Because if they planned on coming towards you, they were blinded from the truth. They were in an energy where they weren't focusing on change, their destiny, their purpose, things like that. They ended up mirroring that person. That's it. They couldn't come towards you. Soulmates, partnership, soul contract. So like this person know about this soul connection. And then hammer. They feel like they sabotage something. And it's like whoever the person is that they were attached to. They were trying to sabotage a soul contract. They were trying to bind this person in a, in a karmic. If they were already, you know, knew that that person was binding to them in a karmic soul contract and it was coming to an end, they would be left out in the cold, things like that. This person would be changing, healing, cleansing their self, going towards a whole other direction. They felt like if they sabotage this, you know, soul contract that they have with you and this person, this agreement, they can bind that person back to another toxic karmic cycle. That person didn't know. And whoever this energy is that's in this Eight of Swords energy, they didn't know. It's like they didn't even know what they were doing or what they were playing with. It's like, make it make sense. You were keeping that person in the Five of Pentacles and in a toxic uh, karmic cycle. And that is what they were going to manifest. The Five of Pentacles continue to take losses and feeling stuck. That's it. They weren't going to have a Ten of Pentacles. They would have to change. They would have to heal. They would have to get woke, cleanse their self and walk in their, um, their calling. Their destiny and their purpose. They would have to find out the truth. Clarity is here. And put something to, to an end. To rest. Coughing. This is somebody that was uneducated. With, with whatever they were doing. Yeah. Twin flames is here. And then watch. So it's like this person is watching you. And they know you're their twin. Golden mirror, narcissist. Yeah, it's like they, whoever this, <laughs> whoever this person is that they were attached to, this narcissistic person that did not know what they were doing. This is somebody that literally like love bombed this person. They thought too high of themselves with whatever they were playing with. Yeah, and I'm here. It's like once this person ended up realizing that they had a, they got their self wrapped up. Because if they were trying to place binding magic over that person, it did not work. They got their self wrapped up. This person did not care. They wanted to come towards you and try to sabotage you. Because <laughs> they knew you were this person's twin. And they could have had a lot of people watching you. They were watching you, stalking you, spying on you with the sunglasses and twin flame being here. That person was watching you as well. So it's like a whole bunch of people were watching you. And they want, they're, they're concerned and they're wondering, thinking, how are you at the Six of Wands having victory? These people spent a lot of time, money, and energy on trying to send negativity to you. So now they're watching you prosper. They're watching you ascend. They're watching you move forward as they're feeling stagnant and stuck. Like, make it make sense. I'm so done. Yeah, stabbed in the back in the reverse. These are people that thought they were going to sit back and watch you go through some type of harsh, painful ending. I'm so dumb. <laughs> oh, wow. Engagement ring is here. Yeah, this person wants to be in union with you and they want this person wants to be with you for eternity. Whoever your twin is. The runner. So it's like they're in an energy where they're running from some type of codependent uh, relationship, codependent person. Or this person ran from you because they feared intimacy. 
and they were in a codependent relationship. Yeah, and it says not today. So it's like whoever this person is, they definitely are avoiding this person now. They set boundaries with this person. That person is angry. They're pissed. Because that person is not dealing with them. They're hurt. And they're trying to call this person, conversate with this person. This is sad. Playing the victim. This person is so self-absorbed. Very selfish. And it's like they're still trying to love bomb this person, confuse this person. <laughs> I think this person found out the truth. Yeah. It's like they've healed or they're, they've freed their self from a toxic relationship with the healing heart. And they're ascending. Yeah. It's like they're trying to keep a positive mindset. Abundance is here. And this person could be preparing to come in union with you. Like they're they're in some type of new phase. They've transcended from whatever obstacles these were. Yeah, a karmic relationship. They've learned lessons. This person have let go, and somebody is still harboring resentment. It's because they got their self caught up and they're stuck. They're heartbroken. They're sad. They're grieving because they got caught. And this person is someone who don't believe in God. So they don't believe in whatever energy you put back comes back on you. Whatever you do comes back to you tenfold. They don't believe in that. They were so used to getting away with stuff. They were so used to being clever, being slick, being sneaky, deceptive to people. Being jealous of people, envious of people. Trying to cause negativity to people. This is sad and just toxic. Yeah. They're heartbroken because somebody's in the energy where they're 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 loving their self, they're focusing on their self, this person is respecting their self. It's like they're at the nine of cups. This person has been doing shadow work on their self. And they've took out a lot of time to heal from the, whatever this was, this toxic karmic cycle. Yeah, they're making some type of healthy choices in love and in life. And they're more happier. This person wants a friendship with you. Coffee cup. They want to reconcile with you, meet with you, conversate with you. Yeah, I like you. So this is someone who wants to date you. This person likes you and they want to have some type of fun. They want to have fun with you. This person has romantic feelings for you. Yeah. And somebody is heartbroken because this did not work. Whoever was helping this person is sitting under judgment with this person and they didn't know. And they're still sitting back watching you. Seduction is here. And then girl talk. Yeah. So somebody was sitting back talking to their friends and family about how they seduced this person. They got this person wrapped around their finger and different stuff like that. Now they're looking like a fool. I'm so done. They're heartbroken because they bragged about how they had that person stuck, how they had that person trapped, how they had them seduce that person, how they were using that person. They can get whatever from that person, how they can charm that person, love bomb that person. Now they're sitting back heartbroken. And they still don't think whatever it is that they were bragging about came back on them tenfold. They did it to themselves and sat back behind the scenes and wanted people to think you had to do something to them. Because they knew you were that person's twin. I'm so done. 